So over the last couple of weeks, you may have heard some pretty surprising things about CSGO pro Boomich. He's been accused of domestic abuse, use of illegal drugs, and cheating on his partner. Now, Boomich is suing his ex-wife for libel, saying there's a lot of false information out there, but he also says that he's being blackmailed. So let's try to sort this whole thing out. So this whole story starts way back at the Stockholm Major last year, where Navi's IGL Boomich celebrated his first ever major win by proposing to his then girlfriend, Angelica Lee Queen Mikhailova. My girlfriend right now in Moscow, she's watching this and I want to ask one question. Will you marry me, Lika? Oh my! Well, that is a stage to do it on. Bumich and Mikhailova got married a few months later, in January, according to her Instagram posts. In late April, Mikhailova announced that she and Bumich were getting a divorce, but posted that they were back together just a few months later. Then, in May, Navi announced that Bumich would be benched after the then-upcoming Antwerp Major due to, quote, high reputational risks for the club. At the time, this was rumored to be related to statements made by Navi's CEO. In an interview with the Washington Post's Mikhail Klimentov, Navi CEO Yevhen Harris Pilton Zolotarov stated that the org was not going to work with people who live in Russia and pay taxes to the Russian government, and that the org was ready to relocate their players who don't support the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Notably, Navi is a Ukrainian org, and most of its staff is Ukrainian too. In the WAPO interview, Zolotarov said that he isn't even sure if his house exists anymore or if it was destroyed by Russian forces. So it's not too hard to understand why Navi wouldn't want their players paying taxes to the Russian government. Now, that said, Zolotarov said at the time that he hoped Navi's Russian CSGO players would relocate and that most Russian gamers do not support the war. Navi's CSGO team features three Russian players, Electronic, Perfecto, and of course, Boomich. However, Boomich was the only one of those players who was benched after the Antwerp Major. Electronic even took over his IGL after he left, though it's unclear whether or not any of Navi's players have relocated. Then, on June 8th, Mikhailova made multiple posts to her telegram in which she accused Boomich of domestic abuse. According to a translation done by a Russian-speaking member of our staff, Mikhailova wrote on her telegram that Boomich threatened her and broke her tooth, that he is a quote, messed up mephedrone addict, that he cheated on her with a friend, and that the two are getting a divorce. She wrote, quote, I'm not as eloquent as Boomich, but the truth is on my side. He's been a drug addict for a long time, not me. He gave me panic attacks and ruined my mental state with his friends. He ruined our little family. He knocked my tooth out. He ruined my health. He betrayed me multiple times. In every sense imaginable, he stabbed me in the back. And I have to be quiet about this. He's weak, not me. The whole truth is here. No one knows him better than I do. She also released a short video of someone she alleges is boomish, snorting an unidentified white powder that she alleges is mephedrone. She also allegedly released a nude picture of Boomich. I can say that we have seen the video in question, though we can't confirm whether or not the person in the video is Boomich and whether or not the substance in the video is an illicit drug, and that we have heard a lot of reporting about the nude photo, but can't confirm its existence because we have not seen it ourselves. Boomich then released a statement on the 8th, writing, Today I got divorced from my wife and was blackmailed with various photos slash videos, and also a huge amount of fake information. Soon I will be filing libel suits. Many thanks to everyone for the support and understanding at a difficult time for me. A few days later on June 12th, Boomich posted a picture of him getting the results of a drug test that said he did not have any mephedrone in his system when the test was taken. There were plenty of people calling for being level-headed, as there's little way to know exactly what happened between Boomich and Mikhailova at the moment while some of Boomich's teammates took to commenting about how they saw this coming. Не надо с ней связываться. Она. 
делает. И я хз, короче. Из-за этого, короче. Ну, ну не, ну вообще, ну Кирилл, Кирилл хороший игрок. Не было хорошо играть, но ну, реально. Но просто в Украине сейчас происходит война. Вот просто я вам скажу, сейчас в Украине война, серьезно. Убивают мирных граждан. И жена постит. Вот для меня непонятно вот эта вещь. То, что просто постит на фоне танков, блять, фотографии. Я просто, ну, для меня это просто пиздец. Это просто, ну реально. Ну, это... Я просто знаю много украинцев. У меня вот друзья есть. Я не прям я не рассказываю, что происходит, там просто пиздец. What Bit is talking about in that second clip are photos that allegedly show Mikhailova supporting Russia with regards to the invasion of Ukraine. On April 6th, Mikhailova reportedly posted a photo of herself with the Russian flag drawn on her cheek. And while that photo has been circulated in the media, the Score Esports couldn't find it on her Telegram or her Instagram. Bit also notes pictures of Mikhailova with tanks, which we also could not find while researching this story. It's unclear if these alleged photos were part of why Bumich was benched. Mikhailova's mother doubled down on her daughter's allegations that Bumich is a heavy mephedron user, alleging that he went on week-long binges, while Bumich's mother responded by insinuating that Mikhailova was only with Bumich for his money. It is currently unclear whether or not Mikhailova's allegations had anything to do with Bumich getting benched. All Navi cited in their statement were reputational issues. And while this would certainly qualify as a reputational issue for the club, it's impossible to say until someone from Navi comments on the situation. Which means that this whole thing is still pretty murky. In his original tweet, Bumich said that there was both a lot of fake information and blackmail out there, implying that he believes that at least some of these allegations are true. Though, to be clear, I could not tell you what Bumich is thinking right now. It's possible that there will be more allegations, maybe even from both sides, as we get closer to a possible libel trial. Meanwhile, Bumich's career is probably on pause while this all gets resolved because the allegations here are quite serious. Domestic abuse is a lot bigger than drug use or cheating. Personally, I don't think any of us should care what Bumich does in his free time as long as he's not harming anyone. But if it does come out that he did hit his ex-wife, that is a really big deal and we should take those allegations seriously for now. In the meantime, no one needs to jump to conclusions. This is a complicated story and I'm sure it'll unfold even more over the coming weeks.